to their homes and so on and so forth up north. Uh, it, I mean, we've got winter six months of the year. Uh, how can we avoid that? I mean, that's just baked into the pie, Mike. Hey, John, you've just made a great argument for why Ontario should lead the clean economy revolution. Right now, we ship $24 billion a year outside of Ontario's economy because we don't produce a lot of fossil fuels here. We would be so much better off taking advantage of the resources that we have. We have a lot of hydroelectric power here. We have vast uh, opportunities in geothermal, wind, solar. We should be taking advantage of that for made-in-Ontario power to power up our economy. I mean, this country was built, by example, by rail. We should be shifting uh, more of our transportation of both people and good onto, onto rail. Um, and, and we need to be electrifying our transportation system to give people those low-cost options. I mean, for example, you can operate an electric vehicle at one-fifth the operating cost of an internal combustion vehicle. So if we can the on the production of electric vehicles as an auto manufacturing province, we should be leading that. The costs will come down. We already know the operating costs are less. Let's take it. We should be leaders. 
the clean economy, not losing jobs and being followers in this transition to a low-carbon economy. Well, it's interesting because when you say, you know... Right now. Breaking news from York Regional Police. They are confirming today that a ransom demand was indeed made in connection with the kidnapping of a 22 year old international student, Wan Jen Lu. Not much is known. Police will not say what demands were made or who received them. Blue Jays are on flight, but a former Jay is about to take flight to San Francisco. I got a chance to. It's an emotional day at Rogers Center. We have a reporter speaking with rattled fans. 680 News Time, 415. Time now for 680 Sports. From Sportsnet 590, the fan Alex Sixero. And James, as you just heard, Kevin Pillar was uh, tearing up about the trade, and so was his now former teammate, Justin Smoke. Yeah, it's not the same as you guys go. Um, we do have a lot of good young players that are coming up, and um, but yeah, it's always tough to see the guys you've so here's the deal. The oil and gas sector, interestingly enough, rather than having it be local ownership. So please don't let the mistakes of the previous Liberal government um, um, prevent us from taking advantage of, one, the dramatic decline in the cost of renewable energy, and two, the opportunity to roll it out right, where we own it right here in Ontario, creating local jobs and local wealth for Ontarians. All right, well, it was your opinion. Three games to go. Maple Leafs should be quick turnaround tonight when hosting the desperate Carolina Hurricanes. Garrett Sparks will start, and Freddie Anderson will get the last two games of the regular season. Kick, uh, make that a puck drop at 7.30. They don't kick a puck. Well, some do. You know what I mean. Hurricanes begin the day one point up on Montreal for the final wildcard spot in the East. The Habs host Tampa. Blue Jackets are in the first wildcard position, and they will take on the Boston Bruins. The economic aspects of it are for those carbon-intensive industries. Uh, and so one of the things I would like to see the federal government look at, now that we are putting in place a national carbon price, is to actually look at carbon tariffs for imported products uh, that are high carbon content, which would put our companies in on a more competitive uh, playing field and push other companies to bring in carbon pricing as well, other countries, sorry, to bring in uh, carbon pricing as well. You're as much a protectionist as Donald Trump. <laughs> no, I don't consider that protectionist. I want trade. I just want it to be fair trade. Okay. Well, that's what he says, too. Uh, very good. Uh, thanks so much for your time, as always. Hey, you got it. Mike Schreiner, yep. leader of the Green Party of Ontario and the MP for Wealth. Sits alone in the legend. We'll Ontario job grant, you could be eligible to receive up to $10,000 per employee in government support to cover training costs. Learn more at next-steps.ca. That's next-steps.ca. Next Steps Employment Centers are funded by Employment Ontario. And indeed, we believe a resume is a great way to see an overview of a candidate, but you're not hiring a resume, you're hiring a person. That's why we offer tools to give you a deeper sense of the people behind the paper, like skill tests, which lets you actually see a candidate's abilities and action to make sure they're a good fit for the job. See beyond the resume with Indeed. Experience Indeed for yourself today and get a free sponsored job upgrade on your first posting at Indeed.com slash A50. The sponsored job upgrade is a $50 sponsored job credit. Users are charged once the credit is spent or expires. Terms, conditions, and quality standards apply. 680 News Time, 418. This is all news.